Alright guys, welcome to your 12th UDK tutorial, and in this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about something called Geometry Mode. Now, before I explain to you guys what Geometry Mode is and how we can access it, let me tell you guys the goal of this tutorial. Say we're building this house right here, and you know, this house is looking pretty good, but it's all square, and it doesn't really have a lot of flavor. It's pretty boring and bland. So what I decided that we should do is we should definitely expand the length of this porch because look how small this porch is right now I definitely want it a little longer and also I want to change the shape of it a little bit so the first thing that we need to do is say I want to double the length of this porch what I need to do is first figure out how long this porch is so if I go up in my front view and hold my mouse wheel I can measure the length of the porch and I can see that it is 320 units long so just take a note of that, write it down somewhere if you need to. Whenever we're working in geometry mode later on, we need to add 320 to it. So now, let's hop into geometry mode. And before I even do that, I'm going to tell you guys, whenever you're working with geometry mode, it might be helpful to work in this brush wireframe mode. So by default, we're in this unlit mode. I'm going to hop over to brush wireframe mode, and it allows me to see my geometry a little bit better. So in order to access geometry mode, go ahead and hit this button right here geometry mode by default we're in camera mode but we want to work in geometry mode so go ahead and hit that and you know that you're in geometry mode because your geometry tools window pops up makes sense so what geometry mode is is this it allows you to work with the different aspects of your shape instead of your shape as a whole now what do I mean by that every polygon or every shape that we make in 3d consists of a couple parts the first thing it consists of is these points these points right here are called vertex and by the way let me say this before I even continue the correct term for one of these points is a vertex the correct term for multiple vertex is vertices but I call them vertexes it may make me sound stupid but I'm gonna call them vertexes anyways even though I know they're called vertices it just makes my life a whole lot easier so pretty much vertexes are these points in space now aside from these vertexes we have an additional thing and that's this if you can see it might be a little hard to see right now but see this orange line I selected that is called the edge of a shape now the edge is bit pretty much the line between two vertexes or vertices so we have a vertex and an edge which is pretty much the line that connects two vertices and also if we select right here in the middle this is a face now the face is pretty much the surface the big area on your polygon so with those terms defined we're ready to move on and actually start learning something useful so what I want to do in this tutorial is I'm going to select this face right here because this is the face I'm going to be expanding. So in order to expand this section of our polygon in geometry mode with this face selected, let me zoom in a little bit, it might be a little easier to see. With this face selected, go ahead and hit extrude. Now extrude pretty much means add length to this polygon so I already have it set up to add 320 but you guys might be like 16 by default or something if it is just go ahead and add 320 to it and then go ahead and hit apply now as you can see what that did is it took that shape right there and it added basically a new segment a new polygon to it and that new polygon was 320 length units whatever they are I don't want to say pixels I don't know if they're pixels but 320 units nonetheless so now we're saying all right job number one accomplished successfully so let me go ahead and shrink this and get it out of the way because it's kind of annoying me and let me scroll out in my perspective view and you're saying all right Bucky you told me before that we wanted to do two things we wanted to add length to this and we also wanted to change the shape so in order to change the shape let me go ahead and in my top view I'm gonna scroll out a little bit and what I'm going to do is, what I want to do is, you know how this is kind of square right here? I want to kind of give it a beveled edge. So, you know, just give it a little more flavor design. So, in order to do that, go ahead and in your top view, select this vertex right here. Now, since we're looking at it in a bird's eye view, kind of top-down airplane view, 
it doesn't know if we want to select this one or the one underneath it. So what the UDK does is it selects every single vertex that's directly underneath this. So if I go ahead and look in my perspective view, let me go ahead and zoom really in here. Check it out. Whenever I select one of these vertexes, it selects both of them since they're directly on top of each other. If I only want to select one of them, I could do that in this view. But since we're working in the top view, go ahead and select them both. And now what I want to do is I want to jump over to my translation mode. And whenever I'm in my translation mode, I can actually move these vertexes around. So go ahead and scroll in. And I'm just going to head, go ahead and move mine to a nice 45 degree angle. And I think right there is where I want to be. So if I deselect this, I can see that it cuts nicely across 45 degrees. And if I go ahead and zoom out of my perspective mode, you can see that this gives my porch a little more flavor. It's definitely a little more exciting than, you know, just a plain straight corner. So now what I want to do is I want to do the exact same thing with this vertex over here. So go ahead and select this. And let me scroll out in my perspective mode. It might be a little easier to see. And like I said, I want to do the exact same thing right here. So go ahead and in your top mode, translation mode of course, go ahead and move this till we get a nice 45 degree angle right here as well. And if we zoom in, we can see that it indeed cuts at a nice 45 degree angle. So now you can see my house is looking a lot more interesting than before. We have a nice expanded porch and we have these at a nice angle. So now, with that being said, we can go ahead and jump out of geometry mode and hop over to unlit mode, and you're saying, all right, we just built this awesome porch, hit unlit mode, and it disappeared. Well, the reason for that is because, remember I said, any time you update your geometry, you need to explicitly rebuild your geometry. So once you rebuild your geometry, you're going to see that nice porch expansion. So that is the basics of geometry mode. Again, with camera mode, it lets you to it allows you to work with shapes as a whole basically but anytime you want to edit the nitty-gritty um, vertexes edges faces of a polygon or shape you need to hop over in geometry mode and geometry mode allows you to change the geometry of an object so that's all I want to talk to you guys about in this tutorial in the next couple of tutorials I'm gonna be adding some doors some windows building of the porch up adding a roof gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff but for now that's all you guys get so thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.